Hello and welcome to another episode of Blue Alpine TV. In today's episode, we will talk about an update to the Bitcoin core code. We'll talk about Goldman Sachs and what they think about Bitcoin. And we'll talk about what goes on with Litecoin and LightPay. So let's jump right into this first news story. Bitcoin Core 0.16.0 goes live. Here's what changes in this major update. So one of the uh, biggest things that changes with this uh, Bitcoin Core update, and this happens not that often. So if you think this is something that happens every week, you're, you're kind of wrong. This um, actually happens maybe once a quarter, maybe once a half a year. Um, and depending on the type of changes, it happens more often. So maybe if, if there are smaller changes, it happens more often. But um, for the bigger changes, this actually happens only like quarterly or maybe half a year. Um, we have talked about the changes that uh, are being done here in our research paper. So if you go to bluealpineresearch.com, um, even if you go to uh, bluealpineresearch.com slash free minus report, you will uh, get a cryptocurrency report, but for another cryptocurrency, not Bitcoin. But once you sign up, you can read through the details a bit. Um, one of the major things or the most important thing is um, uh, version 0.16.0 finally includes support for native SegWit addresses which leverage the user-friendly BEC2032 uh, address format and supports SegWit payments automatically. So previously SegWit support has been announced by the Bitcoin Core Group that was around end of October, beginning of November, something like this. But um, since this SegWit uh, two uh, issue came up they weren't really focused on making this um, available to the entire core platform now with um, bitcoin exchanges such as coinbase and bitfinex actually adopting segwit transactions we will see segwit coming all over um, the bitcoin network what does segwit exactly mean it basically means that it reduces the size of the transactions and with that um, results in lower fees so for the end user great great news segwit is definitely and um, the, the way to go when it comes to scaling bitcoin up it is the first step also um to to get the lightning network up and running so this is a very very important step um the other points there are around three or four points um, we have marked here one one of the in, in our opinion more important ones the other ones you can um, read up I will link them in the description um, replace by fee so RBF which allows users to replace slow to be mined transactions with new transaction with higher fees this will be enabled by default so if you send a transaction and it it's it's not getting confirmed um, uh, by by the network you can then or it will then use a higher amount of fees and um, make sure that your transaction goes through quicker and this was previously not the case so previously you were able to set the transaction fee yourself and it would only use that amount of transaction fee that you have set meaning that if a transaction takes super long that it will actually um, the transaction itself will um, take super long because you have defined a low fee and it won't adjust just the fee um, if the transaction is slow now uh, in this case if the network realizes that the transaction is not getting confirmed by the network it will just change the amount of fee so you will have to pay a little bit more but the transaction then will go through the other changes as I've mentioned you can look it up here um, great update in my opinion it's a pretty big update as, as well so uh, the last version was this 0 0.15.0 but now we're um, on 0 0.16.0 so we'll see what comes up next obviously a lot of people are waiting for lightning network but this will take a while still now next up we have an interesting story goldman sachs latest bank to label crypto a business risk now goldman sachs one of the biggest bank uh, if not the biggest investment bank uh, in the world um, has gone on public record and said once again that uh, cryptocurrencies are a 
uh, or blockchains are a potential business risk. Now, um, what they have done is similar to Bank of America with the SEC, you have to file kind of a document that explains the situation or the, the atmosphere that the business is currently in. So be it um, for the future, for the future investors, for stakeholders, etc., etc. So the company actually writes, we may be or may become exposed to risks related to distributed ledger technology through our facilitation of clients activities involving financial products linked to distributed ledger technology such as blockchain or cryptocurrencies our investments in companies that seek to develop platforms based on distributed ledger technology and the use of distributed ledger technology by third-party vendors clients and counterparties clearing houses and other financial intermediaries so they are saying that um, potentially if um, uh, potentially cryptocurrencies and or blockchain could be a risk for their business um, and they are not really positively um, looking at at um, bitcoin so the ceo has uh, said that uh, we're a prime bo broker and so if our clients are going to do it we're going to do it a principal bitcoin business where we're going long and short market making so far we're not so um, in the end the market decides so even for goldman sachs if the clients actually want um, uh, any kind of bitcoin trading be it through futures or, or through something else then uh, goldman sachs will probably offer this now what is interesting and this is a bit far-fetched but um uh, hear me out uh, bear with me here so goldman sachs is an investor in payment startup circle now circle is um, a startup where the the, uh, the idea is basically you can send money via text so uh, you have you can send dollar uh, pounds euros by um, texting someone and sending uh, the number directly uh, here then you can use it within an app and you can um, do uh, the bumps and all of these things so you can instantly send money to another person this has nothing really to do with cryptocurrency however circle actually bought bitcoin exchange poloniex now um, or, or cryptocurrency exchange poloniex poloniex is actually one of the oldest um, and and more famous cryptocurrency exchanges however it has gone um, it has lost a bit of popularity in the last, I want to say, two years, one, one to two years, something like this, um, because of uh, Binance, Bittrex, Bitfinex, KuCoin, all of these other um, cryptocurrency exchanges coming up. But Poloniex was long one of the few uh, cryptocurrency exchanges where you were able to buy um, uh, altcoins, for example. Um, now in this uh, area this is what, what is really interesting circle has bought poloniex now goldman sachs has um an investment in circle so indirectly goldman sachs is um partly own, owning a cryptocurrency exchange which is really coming full circle here so on one hand goldman sachs is saying no we're not touching bitcoin in any way um or, or cryptocurrency in any way it's actually a risk for our business but on the other hand they are invested in a company that indirectly um or directly bought a cryptocurrency exchange so this is really interesting i mean obviously goldman sachs is um saying this for strategic reasons because a majority of their business is still safe um, products safe instruments safe financial instruments if you if you will and cryptocurrencies um, bitcoin all of these things are very still volatile risky and they don't really understand it and if they don't understand it they don't want to be a part of it so um, i think Goldman Sachs is definitely looking into blockchain technology, maybe even trying to think or, or how they can um, launch something on their own. But um, for the time being, they will use uh, intermediary parties to actually be part of the action. Because don't forget, exchanges, cryptocurrency exchanges actually make a lot of money. So Coinbase has reported around 1 billion in revenue in 2017. Um, so it can be quite a lucrative business if you're knowing uh, if you know what you're doing so for goldman sachs i don't think they're anti-bitcoin i think they're they want to be part of the action but only indirectly and only later they will um 
become a bit more involved directly. Now, next up, we have an interesting story. Uh, Litecoin bucks the trend as the other top coins slump light pay launches today. So uh, today the, the, the market was generally positive, but uh, Litecoin has jumped, I want to say, since a couple of days. Um, maybe even sometimes double digits so between five to ten percent and Litecoin was all, all, always quite steady compared to the other cryptocurrencies now the reason for this is actually because light pay launches today now light pay and we've talked about this this is um a multiple uh, aspect so on one hand you can as a business accept litecoin um, be it through an e-commerce store or even a physical store um, you can accept litecoin and on the other hand you will get a light pay card which is a credit card um, which uses litecoin uh, in order for um, making payments so you can technically load it up with dollars and then it, turn it into litecoin and then use that use those litecoins to actually uh, transact in in business and this is a, a qu quite a big thing so bitpay for example was the equivalent of um, bitcoin now in um in the last couple of weeks, Visa and MasterCard and all of these credit card companies have actually come out and said, well, we're not really allowing our customers to um, use uh, their credit cards for Bitcoin payments and all of these things. So in the article, it says with the release of LightPay comes the realization that major financial industries may prefer Litecoin to Bitcoin. The LightPay debit card will be powered by Visa, who have seemingly turned their backs on Bitcoin. The ability to use the card at ATMs coupled with instant Litecoin to USD conversion will open up huge amounts of potential for Litecoin, which will only have a positive impact on the price. So obviously a lot of people are buying up those Litecoins um, at a, around uh, $200 now to $220-ish uh, ish price. And, and I remember like a week ago, it was around 150, 140. So people are definitely banking on Litecoin being um, adopted in a major way whether and how much of this actually will happen we will see but i think this is a huge announcement for for litecoin itself and we'll definitely um, update our report on litecoin to include light pay as well now um yeah with that we're already at the end of today's um a news story don't forget to go to uh, bluealpineresearch.com slash free minus report to get your cryptocurrency uh, and fundamental analysis that we've that we've done for free and um, yeah if you want to stay updated about the things we're doing make sure to sign up and uh, yeah give me a like uh, subscribe to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow take care